Welcome dear students to Computer Studies English Medium Chapter Number 4 That is Introduction to Layers This is Part 1 video Now in the previous video you had learned that in Synfig you are able to create different shapes such as circle, star, square that is rectangle these all types of shapes you are able to create now these all shapes used to form different layers on the canvas on the right hand side bottom panel I had shown you that each shape is forming an individual layer now in this chapter we are going to have a detailed knowledge of these things now here you can see the beautiful scene or scenery right in which there are different objects such as wolf mountains trees sun sky all these things am i right now here different objects are arranged properly so we can say that uh, each shape forms different layer for example the layer which is at the backmost is the layer of sky on the top of which there is a layer of sun that is circle after that comes the mountains which are uh, most far away right then the nearby mountain and so on so here each layer is placed in this way and the previous layer is hiding the layer under it so here we will learn how to create this type of layers and how to create an animation by using these things so a layer in synfig refers to different levels on which we place our drawing objects or pictures stacked above and below each other right the naturally the top layer will hide the bottom layer we can think of uh, layers as sheets of paper which are cut into different shapes for example circle square star right you can imagine that uh, these are different sheets of paper which are cut in this uh, shape on one layer we have a paper sheet in the shape like a star on the other layer we have a paper sheet like the shape of a square the square might overlap and hide some part of the star if they are placed in such a way use of layers gives us the freedom to work with each object individually in the previous video I taught you suppose I want to change the color of the circle I can change the color without disturbing the other object star if I want to move the position of the circle without disturbing the star I can move the position so like that way in that sense each and every object could be worked with individually now uh, when it is uh, modified it does not disturb the other objects either above or below it you can work with a particular layer the layer which is on the top or which is in the bottom of that layer that will not get disturbed at all now the layers can also be rearranged allowing us to change the order in which the objects are displaced thus changing the appearance of our scene what does this statement mean it means that suppose if you have taken three shapes say circle star and square now first step uh, is first uh, thing shape which you have drawn is of a circle then when you draw the star in the same place then the star will hide that much part of the circle where it's overlapping then you put a square on the top of that star then it will hide both these objects star and uh, circle 
Now changing the order means I can bring the circle on the top and star behind it. Okay, so that is known as changing the order. Fine. Now each layer has its own set of parameters. We can see the parameters of a layer by first selecting the layer from the layers panel and then looking into the params panel. Where is the params panel located? It is located on the left hand side bottom part. Okay, just below the toolbox. Uh, it's located on the exactly bottom part on the left hand side arms panel from wherein you can change the parameters such as you can change the color you can change the so many things you can change i have not taught much so that i will discuss later on the name of that para, uh, this thing panel is arms panel fine next thing in synfig each individual element of the canvas is broken down into different layers each shape is having different layers the layers in synfig are different from other animation software in the following two aspects the first aspect is every object el or element and uh, effect have their own layer now see this thing is a new thing you know one thing that circle and uh, this thing uh, star and square are having their own layer but even the effect that is gradient effect or say another blur effect or distortion effect these all things are also a different layer we do not have a layer with multiple effects another thing we cannot have the single layer with so many effects when you add a effect again it will form a new layer like that way as it is in other words a layer represents a single primitive such as object outline or image second thing is the upper layer can change the behavior of the layers below it it can distort or modify the layer beneath it this is done by using the effect or uh, filter layers that i will be teaching you just in one minute after one minute i will be teaching you this thing practically that how the top layer can uh, change the behavior of the bottom layer fine there are different types of layers such as gradient blur distortion filter and other all which you know that is square and star and uh, etc etc fine so let us understand the layers by doing the pra now practically we will try to understand the meaning and uh, working of layers so first of all i will draw a circle layer which will create a circle layer now i draw another circle over here and one more circle i draw here so total you can see here just look at uh, look in the right hand side bottom corner this is known as layers panel and here you can see that three different layers have been created fine now i will change the color of the circles so for that there are two options either i can click on any circle using the select tool so that will get selected and then from the params panel i can change the color today i am teaching you a new technique instead of that what you can do is you do click on this fill option okay after clicking on the fill option you have to click on the palette editor which is given here on the right hand side and then select the desired color for example i select here red color and i click on this circle so this circle will turn into red color then i select uh, light blue color and or i select uh, yeah light blue or this cobalt blue will look good or i keep light blue and i click here 
and uh, for third circle i select or i keep yellow color only no problem so total three circles have been created each of different colors now i am going to draw a gradient on this that means i am going to insert a new layer called gradient so i click on gradient now what will be the color of the gradients pink and aqua blue that is this color so i will change this aqua blue color so that uh, it differentiates properly fine so i have chosen this two colors now in gradient i get four options that is linear radial conical and spiral i take spiral now i draw a gradient here fine so as soon as i drew or i inserted a new layer of gradient the three circles got hidden under this layer right so the topmost layer hides the layer beneath it fine now one thing i am going to do is see here you can see that there are three circles just now i was teaching you that we can change the order of the layers so i bring one of the circle in front of this layer just see so for that how can i change the order i have to go to the right hand side layers panel i have to drag this gradient okay and drop it under this so you can see that one of the circle has come on the top of this layer right so it could be seen now we are going to learn a very interesting thing that the gradient effect that is the spiral effect which is seen in the background if that effect you want to give to this circle or to all the three circles and background you want to make it plain then how is that thing possible so that is possible with the help of the method called uh, encapsulation so now we will learn so now we will learn what is encapsulation encapsulation means grouping of things okay in the terms of medicine if we see inside a capsule various compounds are mixed together right same way here in the animation different uh, layers or objects are grouped together this question could be asked in the exam every time it is asked what is encapsulation now if we want to apply the gradient effect to a particular object or a group of objects then we need to encapsulate them into a layer if we don't encapsulate them and if we try to change the properties of the gradient layer then that effect will be applied to all the layers beneath it so it's necessary that if we want to apply this effect only to a particular layer we need to encapsulate it with the gradient thing thus using encapsulation we can apply the gradient to one layer without applying it to the layers beneath it to do this we have to press and hold the control key now this is very natural we all know that uh, whenever we are using computer in that to do this type of operation to select two particular things anywhere we can press and hold the control key this also could be asked in the mcq press and hold the control key to select the two layers on which we want to apply the gradient thereafter uh, give a right click and select the encapsulation fine so now we will do it practically and uh, this will one more thing i forgot is by doing all this thing it will create a new layer named inline canvas this also could be asked in the mcq most of the times it is this question has been asked the meaning of inline canvas so a new layer is created and that is known as inline canvas now practically i will explain you this code now first thing is this yellow color is on the top of the gradient again i will send it to the back side of the gradient now all the circles are behind the gradient right 
Now, if I want to give this gradient effect to all the circles, I have to change the blend method of gradient tool. You can see at present I have not selected the circles, I have selected only the gradient. And from here, from the params panel, that is parameter panel, I have to change the blend method. This also could be asked in the MCQ. By default the method is composite. From composite, I have to change it to straight on to. It could be asked in the MCQ. So remember this word straight on to. Okay, so as soon as I click here, what happens that the effect of gradient is been applied on all the objects below the gradient tool. It's looking beautiful. This type of thing you can do and create a beautiful animation. Fine. Now suppose in place of applying this effect to all the three objects. Okay, see if I move then this gradient will also change inside. Huh? Just see, right? So now if I want to apply this effect to a particular circle, not all the three circles, only one circle, then I have to encapsulate that circle with gradient. How to do that? I click on gradient from here, from uh, layers panel, I press and hold the control key and I select the circle tool. Two things I have selected, I have selected gradient and this circle. Okay. Now I give a right click by keeping my mouse somewhere here and I click on encapsulate, just observe. So as soon as I encapsulate both the objects, the effect of gradient will be applicable only to this circle, just see. The rest of the circles are looking as it is, as they were looking before. And whenever we want to check that what is lying in this capsule, right? There is a small triangle shape here. I have to click on this triangle shape. So it will show me that these two objects have been encapsulated in this inline canvas. Yeah. And you have to remember this word inline canvas. Fine. So again, I click back here to hide those things. Okay. Now, uh, next uh, layer I am going to teach you is blur layer. Suppose I want to give blur effect, then how to give? Same thing, I uh, right click, I click on circle, I give a right click and I select new layer and from new layer blurs. From that I select radial blur. What will happen? Just see. The blur is applied on both the layers, circle layer of red color as well as the circle layer of blue color. Right? Now, if I want to apply this thing only to one circle, then what to do? I have to use the same method, press and hold the control key, select the radial blur layer and any of the circle layer, right click and encapsulate. Right Now you can see the red color circle is looking normal, while the blur effect is given only to this circle, while this circle is given the effect of gradient. So like this way to create any beautiful animation, it is very necessary to know what is encapsulation. And one more thing is now suppose afterwards or any time if you want to change the names of the layers, here it is circle 0 to 6. Then what I can do is I have to click here and start typing. For example, I want to give the name red circle for my understanding, then I can change the name like this way. So anything if you want to change the name of any of the object or uh, inline canvas, then you can change the name. Fine. So hope uh, this much is clear to one and all. We stop this video over here. If you like the explanation, please hit the like button. We meet again in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.